Hello folks, Jason Crestman here at JC's Bees. Many of you probably recall a few weeks ago I got some goodies in from Saracel Beekeeping Supplies over in New Zealand. Um, about a week or so after that I released uh, a video on the Saracel Top Hive Nuke Feeder. Um, I'll link a video to that up here if you haven't seen it. Um, today I'd like to do a demonstration on the escape board. The one we're looking at here is an 8 frame and uh, the 10 frame model looks exactly like that, just a little wider. Um, you'll notice these little cones in the bottom and that's actually how the bees go from the supers back into the brood box. The supers would be up here, the brood boxes would be underneath, and the bees would simply go down through these holes and come out these little cones. After they leave these little cones, they're not able to figure their way up back into the super. So then the beekeeper is able to come along so many hours later, probably 24, uh, the next day, and uh, remove the supers without any bees in it, making it very, very easy for the bee, uh, beekeeper to harvest their honey. So you might notice this far hive here on the end. Well, that's the hive I installed it on yesterday. So what I'd like to do this morning is kind of give you a quick rundown on what it looked like installing this uh, escape board yesterday. And then from there, we'll follow right up on uh, today's results and see how things are looking. So check out what happened yesterday and then we'll fill in from there. Is you're going to want a roll of uh, duct tape or some kind of tape to tape off any holes above the uh, bee escape. Any entrance at all is going to make putting this escape on there kind of a waste of your time. So make sure you have a piece of tape something like that on hand if you have any holes in the sides of your boxes maybe cracks or something that bees are using for entrances you know it's funny a lot of the you know when you start up beekeeping uh, one of the first things you'll read is not to wear black because the bees think you're a bear I'm kind of curious today if the bees are going to think I'm a big bad bear So far, I must be doing something right. Sorry, I gotta keep walking off the camera, but it's kind of tight little space here, and I don't have a camera helper, so. This super don't really look like there's much in it. There's a lot of bees hanging out in there. Big old nasty clump of propolis. My goodness. That's probably because of this little low cut corner here. It started to rot. They're trying to plug that off. But anyway, I'm going to flip it up the other way so you can see the amount of bees in the supers. Hopefully that gives you some kind of idea because there's not a whole lot of honey in this one. I didn't push real hard for honey production this year. It's something I'm thinking about getting out of. Just concentrating on queens and nuke sales. Um, so, you know, probably real honestly after this video is over and I remove the supers and show you how well the bee escape works, I'll probably give them the supers back for winter. I'd rather the bees live and me not have to feed them and them have real food instead of artificial food just so many benefits this one's full all right come over here and lift this one up gonna break the seal and then i'll stand it up so you can see it There you go. There's about 25, 30 pounds of honey right there. I'm gonna take this super, I'll set it off to the side. And we'll remove the queen excluder. Let me give him some smoke. You know, I do look like a big bear with this black shirt on. <laughs> no, to be honest, collars have never really shown any kind of influence to me the attitude of the bees 
Um, it's more the way you act. If you're in a big hurry, you're going to make mistakes. You're going to squish bees. I understand you got a lot of hives. You got to move quick to make it efficient and effective. Look there, October 7th. October 7th, and I've still got drones hanging around Central Ohio. Okay, so now we're going to take and place this right on the colony, just like so, making sure we've got it lined. See, this is a very common way to get stung. You go around the edge thinking you're going to line up the boxes and you scrape a bee and you get stung. So, little silly things like that, I find I get stung more than actually making the bees mad. So now we'll place the supers right back on top. Okay, I'll be nice. I don't want to squish anybody if I put the next super on there. Come on, girls. Get back up and in. I got bees walking all over my arms. I got bees crawling on me. So far, nobody thinks I'm a black bear. He must not be too worried. He's a skinny black bear. He don't eat much. I don't know. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do, we're going to put our outer cover, our inner cover back on there. Before I go any further with my setup, because I have a bad corner up there and a bad corner here, I'm going to go ahead and tape those. Um, I want this to be a very accurate test, and if I don't take the time to do this step, it's just going to be a waste of time. Okay, so now let's go and let's pop the hive open and let's see how well it worked. What I'm seeing looks pretty positive so far, so that's great. I'll tell you what folks, I'm going to remove the tape. You know why? Because this escape board has worked beautifully. There is very, 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 very few bees in here. A simple bee brush and you could have your super. Look at that. That is just simply amazing. You know, I figure I would see some bearding on the front of the brood boxes since I forced all of the bees that were, you know, scattered throughout the whole hive back down to the bottom. Um, it's pretty common that, you know, on a cool, you know, we're approaching fall, on a cool night for the bees to all return to the brood box where it's warm. So I'm going to guess that that's probably what happened yesterday. So what do you think, folks? Um... Myself, I was pretty impressed. I wasn't sure what to expect. I've never ever, in my 10 years of beekeeping, used an escape board. It's either been brush the bees off of each frame and uh, put them in another box, hurry up and put the cover on, or I resort to my leaf blower. And I know a lot of people had negative feelings towards using the leaf blower, but when you have a lot of hives, it's the only way that's efficient and effective. So, um, I realized that this method, method here would be rather expensive if you have very many hives. But at the same time, um, it worked very well. If I was to give it a rating from 1 to 10, I guess I'd have to give it a 10 because I didn't see any downsides to it, I guess except for the time that it takes to put it on. But other than that, very, very easy. 
One thing I really love about Saracel's products is that they use 100% food grade virgin plastic. Um, I don't have to worry about the chemicals in the plastic that are going on my beehive. Um, I know everything's safe. Uh, the product worked very well. It worked as they said it would. And uh, for that, two thumbs up, Saracel. Nice job. Give yourself a pat on the back. Hopefully this video was encouraging to you and you'll consider purchasing one of these escape boards or maybe a couple. Um, but like I've mentioned in my other Saracel videos, give them time to get this product in the United States and Canada. Give them till spring. Let them work out all the kinks, what it takes to get it shipped over here and get it set up in a couple places. And then hopefully by spring, they'll have it ready to purchase here in the United States and in Canada. You don't want to go to Saracel's site and try and purchase a couple of these and have them shipped here. You're gonna have three to four times as much in shipping as you are the cost of the product. Um, it's very, very expensive to ship from New Zealand through customs to the United States. So, just something to think about. Um, just be patient and give them a little time. If you like the video, give it a big thumbs up. That'll help boost it in the YouTube search ranks and make it easier for other beekeepers to find in which that's what we want. Um, if you haven't subscribed, please take time to do so and make sure you click on the little bell. That way you get notified when I release new videos. Thanks for watching.